Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In today's video, let us continue with the next part of the lesson, Crop Production and Management. In the previous video, we had studied about the third agricultural practice that is adding manure and fertilizers. We had also studied that manure is an organic substance that can be prepared by the farmers and fertilizers are the inorganic substance that are prepared in factories. In today's video, let us study about the fourth agricultural practice that is irrigation. We know that all living organisms need water to live. Water is absorbed by the plants along with water Minerals and fertilizers are also absorbed. To maintain the moisture of the soil and for healthy crop growth, fields have to be watered regularly. Supply of water to crops at regular intervals is called as irrigation. Now let us take a look at some sources of irrigation. Wells, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams and canals are some of the sources of irrigation. There are two methods of irrigation. They are traditional methods and modern methods. Under traditional methods of irrigation, we have moat or pulley system, chain pump system, dhek li, rahat system or liver system. Even though traditional methods of irrigation are cost efficient, there are some drawbacks. They are, traditional methods of irrigation are time consuming. There is uneven distribution of water. Also, there is wastage of water. Now, let us study about the modern methods of irrigation. They are sprinkle irrigation system and drip irrigation system. Let us start by studying about sprinkle irrigation system. It is more useful on uneven lands where sufficient water is not available. There are perpendicular pipes having rotating nozzles on top which are joined to the main pipeline. When water is allowed to flow through the main pipe, it escapes from the rotating nozzles and gets sprinkled on the crop as if it is raining. In drip irrigation, the water fo falls drop by drop directly near the roots. So it is called as drip system. Water is not at all wasted in drip system and it is a boon in the regions where availability of water is very poor. Now, let us take a quick look at summary points. Supply of water to crops at regular inter intervals is called as irrigation. Traditional methods of irrigation are cost efficient but are time consuming. Modern methods of irrigation are sprinkle irrigation system and drip irrigation system. Sprinkle system is more useful on the uneven lands where sufficient water is not available. In drip irrigation system, water falls drop by drop directly near the roots. Water is not at all wasted in drip irrigation system and it is a boon in the regions where availability of the water is very poor. Thank you. Keep watching. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of the upcoming videos.